Hey guys on YouTube, it's uh, Kevin here. I watched uh, Mike's WGP Autocock show, or not, not necessarily WGP, but uh, Autocock show in general, and I liked it for the most part, except for the fact that he referred to the trilogy series as a joke. And I know for most people who uh, are just regular Autocock shooters, yeah, they pretty much are to them, but, you know, I was actually the same way until I actually bought one a little while back. I bought this one right here, it's a, it's a tactical trilogy. Standard, you know, not much on it. Completely stock right now, you know, because most people don't like them because of their integrated through weight and you can't really upgrade them that much. The the weight is that you can't put any uh, aftermarket parts on it, and uh, they made an electronic version with some messy triggers that didn't really work too well. So they've gotten a bad rep, but the real thing with them is they're they're really intended for the younger market, the people who are you know looking to get an auto cocker for the first time, and you know they don't really know how to tune them. And for them, it really works quite well, and their performance compared to, you know, most other cockers, when you really compare them side by side, it's it's really not that much different. I mean, look, I bought this gun, brand new, $45. $45, now keep that in mind. Nothing you see here has changed since I bought it. I've had this gun for a year and a half, and it's never broken on me. So, $45. So, let's do a little comparison today. Let's take that $45 gun. And compare it to this uh, is a 2K1 vertical feed WGP autococker, and it's basically been up to the max. It's got a torpedo reg, it's got a psycho ballistic strap on off, macro line kit, um, cap <coughs> beaver tail, cap cocking rod. I'm not really sure what they make of this bolt is. It's not the stock one though. Uh, it's got a WGP caner barrel kit on there. It's got 32 degrees gauge and a bunch of upgrade stuff in the RAM and three way up here. I know this isn't the original one. And, um, uh, new flame trigger here and uh, die sticky grips on here. So this thing has been upgraded a lot. It's hardly near stock. So um, what I'm going to do here is take these two guns and let's compare them in performance wise. See how much actually different they are. All right, guys. Um, so I got the 2K1 auto cocker set up here. Got my tank. We're sitting at right about 2,400 psi, and uh, let's start shooting. Got WGP. Uh, domination tank. Let's see how this thing shoots. Shoots right there. Helps if you turn it on. Alright guys, sorry about that. I noticed my head was in there, so we're gonna do another shooting video. We got different paint this time too, with a 2K1. And, uh, yeah, it performed a little better though, so, alright. Alright, so uh, now we got a $45 trilogy, and let's see how well it does using the same crappy old paint. Let's turn out here. Go to the pod. Oh, yeah, I checked out that last video. Sorry about my head being in the way. Uh, I'll try to do better this time. But my apologies in advance. Another pod. Alright. Remember to turn it on this time. See how much we got. Alright, I'll just shoot like this. Oh, dude, my bad. So I, I really hope that was in the video, but um, that's my trilogy. Now people say what you want though, but you know, for the performance differences, I mean, this gun which has been put 400 plus dollars into it, compared to this one, but still the actual performance isn't that different, and I know, I mean I'm not trying to do this on purpose, but I know I hit the tree more times with this thing than I do with this thing. I mean this thing, which is, you know, it's just been too so much put so much money into it, 
but it's still it's still almost I mean this thing is almost on par with this thing you know some of the differences you can just tell what the trigger is this one is just sort of it's sort of slower in the, the trigger pull and release this one almost has like a little kick to it it almost wants to spring back like it's got one of those you know kind of like the Titman uh, RT triggers almost this one I mean this one I gotta admit this one does have a better feel it's just more crisp trigger pull I really like the way the, the trigger feels in here I mean yeah it's a better gun but it's like well, you could buy 20 of these guns for this gun, or probably 10 at least. This is a $45 gun with a $400 gun, and I mean, it's holding its own against it. Which is, you know, what I'm trying to say is the Trilogy series isn't a joke. It's simple as that.